To everyone out there who's really worried about these new NFHS pocket regulations, why? Ah! Why? Why? Calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. The same thing happened in college not too long ago, and they're still playing NCAA ball. So this isn't going to ruin the game. It's also not gonna ruin your pocket. Here at Style and Strings, we already put up eight pockets, three of which are brand new, five of which we already have. They're tested, tried and true, and college players have been using them for years. Those are the T-Birds, the Scoogles, LAS uh, pockets, there's a PETA and a regular six box. Those are all good to go. We also have some new ones. We have the ECD Replica Plus and the California Style Mesh Plus, which is my personal favorite. So we have an entire section put onto the website for this stuff. It really wasn't that difficult for us, but for the do-it-at-home stringers, let me go over some stuff that might help you guys out. So the rules and regulations that have changed could have been a lot worse. Let's start off with what did change. First and foremost, you have the four inch rule. Now that has the potential to be the exact same four inch rule that the NCAA has. We'll get into the potential of that in a little while. What that means is that all of your shooting strings have to be in the top four inches of the stick. Secondly, the 90 degree rule where you take your stick and actually turn it all the way down, good. You guys shouldn't be able to play with a stick that goes upside down anyway. Now this rule was created so that you guys don't get drilled by a deep hole. And trust me, as a former deep hole myself, if somebody was walking around the field with their stick upside down, you only assume there's one way to get the ball, and that's going to be a pretty heavy hit. That rule makes sense. I know that might not be a popular uh, you know, stance on that, but it's not like it's going to change the rule one way or another, so I don't care. The rules that could have changed. You guys could all be using NCAA legal sticks right now. I mean the head. You guys are very, very close, and I would say in the next five years or so, you're all going to be using NCAA spec heads. Secondly, you guys could all be forced out of multicolored mesh. That's a very predominant NCAA rule, and I would say that's probably coming too. However, that would hurt a lot of small businesses, so I'm not really down with that. It's not necessarily something that betters the game or hurts the game. It's kind of a moot point, but I do see that coming. Third. Coated mesh. I love coated mesh, but the fact of the matter is, is that when there's something that's advantageous in a game, something that betters your game and gives you a leg up, the powers that be generally tend to notice that. So I would go ahead and watch uh, the rules and regulations over the next few years because that could be something that they target. As far as the four inch rule, everyone knows that the arcing measurement is a current standard out on the field of NCAA play. But what you guys might not remember is that just a few years ago, that could have gone either way. When we first heard about the rule, there was no arcing measurement. What that means is that it actually goes with the arc of the top of the lip of the stick. So, the area on the outside of the sticks gives you extra measurement than the very top, which plays along well with the shooting string's natural curve. We don't know if that's going to happen in high school, so stay tuned. For a later video, I'm actually going to go back and going to talk to some refs and see how they interpret the rules and actually apply it. I wanted to make this video so everyone would just calm down a little bit. Everything's going to be fine. We've already invented three sticks and it's been less than 48 hours. The do-it-yourself stringers are going to be okay. And really, rules aren't meant to be broken, but when you guys are put into the same category with everybody else with the same restrictions, if you can be the most creative and you can find the most benefit within your new confines, you're going to be a better player because of it. So next time, calm down, take care, and keep laxing.